Hey folks, I'm back and today I'm doing yet another comparison, the M1 MacBook Air versus my Intel Core i9 64 gigabyte maxed out MacBook Pro from 2019. We're gonna be comparing a Swift UI build project. We're gonna be doing some speed tests and this is actually a request that came from one of you folks in the comments. Marco Kramer said he's having some issues building a Swift UI project, a large Swift UI project. Now I have tested this Swift UI project that I'm about to show you on my iMac from 2014 and it takes about 30 seconds to build but I have not yet tested it on the M1 or the i9 which are both newer much newer machines so I'm really looking forward to this and I want to see which one of these is going to be doing it faster for the exact specs of the machines see the description down below oh and one more thing if you caught my latest video from last week it was an April Fool's video about this keyboard right here it's actually a really nice keyboard I'm not knocking any people that use the mechanical keyboard but I can't use this one, so I'm gonna be giving this one away. Watch till the end of the video to find out how you can win. Let's begin. So we're gonna go and grab this project right here. If you go to developer.apple.com slash tutorials slash Swift UI, it has a very nice Swift UI sample project right at the bottom. It's not a trivial to-do list project either. It's a really nice one. So it's called Fruta. I'm gonna download it and you can download it as well and run it in your machine. I'm gonna put it on my desktop right over here. Let's save it and unzip it. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna close down Chrome now and only have my console open let's go change directory into that folder and I'm going to use command line tools to do my build now if you want to see the app actually running I am gonna do that as well towards the end of the video I'm gonna do that with Xcode it actually is a very nice looking app so first I'm gonna get the actual times so you can get your information and get out of here as quickly as possible for those folks that are interested in that we're gonna compare the actual build times and then I'm gonna pop open Xcode and we're gonna see the app and see how long it takes to build through Xcode as well so this is the first First time I'm building the app so I don't need to worry about clearing any caches let's do that right here on my core i9 MacBook Pro I'm gonna run Xcode build and I'm gonna give it the project flag and I want to build Fruta Xcode proj and I'm gonna give it the scheme that we want to build which is Fruta iOS. I'm gonna paste in my destination, which is gonna be the simulator. I wanna build for the simulator with the simulator ID, and I'm gonna issue the build command. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing here on the MacBook Air M1. There is my download, I'll unzip it. Let's change directory into that folder. Xcode build, same project, same scheme. Now, actually, I'm not quite sure about the destination ID. Let me just quickly check that out to make sure I have the right ID for the simulator on the system. I'm gonna pop open a new tab here and say instruments dash s devices ah it looks like my command line tools are not installed here so i need to start up xcode go to preferences let's go to locations and then command line tools i need to just select it here okay hopefully that'll take care of it instruments okay good now i've got my list of instruments which are just basically a list of simulators and the IDs on these machines for the simulators are not the same so we have to actually get the IDs from the machine itself so when I issue this command I'm gonna have a destination the platform is gonna be iOS simulator and we have to give it an ID equals and we got to grab one of these IDs so I'm gonna use the iPhone 12 Pro Max simulator right over here copy that ID Let's paste that in and the build command. Okay, that one is set up. Let's come back here to the MacBook Pro and I'm gonna replace the simulator ID here with iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is this one right here. I don't know why they can't just keep these consistent. I could probably use the name here, but I already have ID set up and it's not that hard to get the ID. Now we're ready to go. I am still gonna press these buttons at the same time because it's fun to do even though this will report the time one two three and go okay it's building and it looks like the macbook m1 is a little bit ahead just a tiny bit who's gonna win i don't know the other one took about 30 seconds on my imac this should take less because these are both newer machines so it's not gonna take that long to build these all right we're getting close I think, I don't know, it's just a bunch of numbers and letters on the screen. Build succeeded. 32 seconds on the MacBook Air M1 and 33.62 seconds on the MacBook Pro. What am I hearing there? The MacBook Pro, of course, and its fans. So let's take a look at the temperature here. Temperature is warm on the MacBook Air. It's much warmer on the MacBook Pro. 
All right, I'm gonna build it again because now it's a subsequent build. It should be much faster. And we're also gonna do a couple of other fresh builds. So here's a subsequent build, much faster on the M1, 1.57 seconds, 2.35 seconds on the MacBook Pro. Let's do it one more time just for fun. 0.725 seconds on the MacBook M1, 1.3 seconds on the MacBook Pro. Is this a fluke? Let's do it again and see. 0.7 seconds and 1.3. So there you go, folks. It is a bit faster on the M1. I mean, come on. If you've seen my previous video with the Xcode build, it's kind of to be expected, right? This is just a different project. It's a Swift UI project, but it's, it's also still giving me similar results. All right, now I want to blow this away and build it from scratch because those builds are usually a little bit longer. So let's do that. I'm going to issue the command rm rf and we want to go to library developer Xcode and then derived data. I'm going to just blow away that directory. Boom. That's the directory where all these builds are stored. So I'm going to do the same exact thing here on the MacBook Pro and let's do the build again. One, two, three, go. Last time it was around 32 seconds, 33 seconds. Should be about the same this time. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe not. 14.4 seconds this time, even though it was a clean build on the M1. What happened? Did it warm up a little bit? It got faster. And 23 seconds on the MacBook Pro. I want to do that again because three times is always a good way to uh, average things out. I'm going to blow away the derived data and do the build one more time. And this time after it finishes, I'm actually going to check out what the temperature is. Now the MacBook Pro is not making that much noise today. These are not really long builds, but I wanna see the temperature anyway. And we're back 14.1 seconds over here on the MacBook Air M1. 23.48 seconds on the MacBook Pro. And there's that fan. Okay, so the MacBook Air is at 30 Celsius. MacBook Pro is at 42 Celsius. Not gonna burn you or kill you, but might feel uncomfortable on your lap. All right, folks. So there you go. That's the build times. I do want to pop this open and show this app to you in Xcode as it builds. So I'm going to do that in Xcode on both of these machines. I'm going to set the simulator device to iPhone 12 mini. And I also want to blow away the data just one more time before I do that. It's going to do some file processing right now. So I'm going to wait until that's done. That kind of reminds me of Android Studio a little bit where you have to sit and wait until the processes are finished before you're allowed to run the project. All right, still waiting on the MacBook Pro to finish processing. Okay, finally, ready? We're going to kick things off right now. I'm going to hit the play button at the same time and let's go. Okay, so the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro racing against each other with this build in Xcode. Build succeeded on the MacBook M1 and we're waiting now on the MacBook Pro. Come on, build succeeded on the MacBook Pro. So that's a little bit later. Let's take a look at the SIM. One of these is gonna pop up first, I'm sure. And it's gonna be the MacBook M1, of course, as to be expected. Now we got a white screen here on the app. The app is still kicking up and now it's started. It's the simulator is still starting up up on this MacBook Pro. So it's taken a while, significantly more time, I'd say enough time to be annoying if you're doing this a lot. Okay, there's the app finally popped up a lot more noise now from the MacBook Pro. We're at 44 Celsius on the MacBook Pro and we're at 31 on the MacBook Air. All right, folks, you can see a little pattern here. So this is a very nice app, by the way, if you are interested in checking out Swift UI, it's a beautifully designed app. It's got a lot of different features that you can check out and play with. But that's not really why we're here. It's a nice sample for you to play with. Why are we here then? Well, we've got the results for the build times and there's one more thing we need to do and that's to give away this mechanical keyboard to one of you folks. I'm gonna run this raffle for two weeks. It's a brand new keyboard that I've never actually used. I've only tried it out. Not a fan myself, but one of you folks might be. In order to win the keyboard, you have to be a subscriber and I am gonna be checking that. You have to make a comment down below and tell me whether you use Swift UI or if you're an Android developer and what backend stack you use. And also give this video a thumbs up. That not only helps 
helps this video and helps other people find the video with the YouTube algorithm. So it helps me out quite a bit so I can keep making these videos for you. In two weeks, I'll pick a winner. It's going to be a random person that left a comment down below. Thank you very much, folks. It's been a pleasure. I love making these videos and I really want to do more of these. So I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.